Hello everyone, my name is Nell Black Eagle, and in this video I will show you how to build OTG from source. Building from source means you will create the latest available package for OTG. These builds have likely not been thoroughly tested yet, and thus may contain bugs. On the other side of the coin, this means you can help the OTG team by searching for bugs and reporting them to the GitHub page. So, without further ado, let's put up some music and download the tools that we need. First off, let's download Java from Zulu, because its support will last for an additional 3 years, whereas Oracle recently stopped supporting Java 8. When downloading Java, make sure that you select the correct operating system from the drop down menu. So if you run Windows, select Windows, if you run Linux, then uh, Linux running. Same counts for the architecture, and if you are not sure on what kind of architecture you run, which uh, can be either 32 or 64 bit, then a simple Google search like is my OS 32 bit or 64 bit will provide you with plenty guides on how to find out what version you are currently running. To download the Java, simply click on the .msi and this will provide you with an installer. Next up, uh, Git for Windows. It's pretty straightforward. Just download it and uh, leave all the default settings as it is. At last, we end up with the Open Terrain Generator, uh, which is the source of this tutorial. And what you want to do is select the version you want to download from this drop down menu. For, uh, in my case, this will be 1.16.4, but if you want to download 1.12, then you can click that. And for all versions, it works the same. Um, however, not all versions are like uh, uh, properly created, like they, they don't fully ring yet. So I cannot guarantee if 1.17.1 works the way you want it to work. Once you have selected the version you want, then click on code and copy this piece of text by clicking these overlapping boxes right here. Then you can minimize your browser and open up an empty folder on your desktop. And if you right click on the uh, empty field, you will see git guy here and git bash here. What you want to click is git dash here and then type in git clone, then copy paste, uh, I mean paste, sorry. Uh, you basically pasted the uh, text that was copied right here. And after that, type dash, uh, I mean dash and then b, which stands for uh, branch 1.16.4 in my case and press enter it is currently cloning the uh, files from the git into the folder right here uh, once it's done you can you just close this window and open up drain open drain generator and double click cradle w this will run for a while uh, the first time I had it running, it took about two minutes. Uh, once that is completely done, you will end up with a folder that looks like this. Um, you click Gradle W and it uh, created uh, this folder built. And if you click on that, then on releases, you will find your version of OTG right here. All you, do, all you need to do right now is drag it over to your mods folder and it should work. Um, yeah, that was it. Pretty fast tutorial. I hope uh, it was useful and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.